Hey you guys, this is Nathan back with another Photoscape X tutorial. Today we're looking at replacing an image in a photo. This is an image that uh, I took, you know, a couple months ago. And I have this template here for this channel update, it has some emojis as well. So I actually really like how this looks, but let's say I want to replace the image because here's the challenge. Right here, I have uh, and this is a project file, which means I saved it as a project, which means I'm still able to move and adjust everything in the project, the text, the uh, images, everything. I'm able to move and adjust them however I'd like, and I can go back and undo back to where I want it to be. But the challenge here, and this is one of the things that I think that Photoscape X needs to be able to do to get closer to being a Photoshop replacement or to being an Affinity Photo competitor. Uh, you know, in a real genuine way, is being able to fully edit and adjust every layer of your image. Where when I click on this image, you know, it's not the base image, it's the background, it's uh, added in the image. I only can do so many things. I can adjust the opacity, I can adjust, you know, a couple things, but you know, can I adjust like the film effect on it? No, that's just going to be based on that main front image. And, you know, it's those type of things that I think are really tough. Like, there's things you can do. Like, you could duplicate the image, overlay it perfectly. And then you could, like, do it based on, like, a, some different stuff and, like, try to, you know, change some stuff with it. But, like, that's so complicated and not what is helpful. So, with what I want to do is I want it to be something where I can easily make that background image what it needs to be. So let me show you guys what you could do. You could go to layers and you could merge all layers. And if you merge all the layers together, you can make it where now this whole thing is a base image, but you can't move or adjust anything, which means you'd have to have it exactly where you want it and you're stuck with it that way. Not ideal. What would be ideal is to be able to easily put this image as the backdrop image. So here's an idea here. Um, you know, there is the copy to clipboard, okay? So just in case if you had lost the image or it had gone somewhere random, what you could do is you go and you could open this image in clipboard so you have the full uh, image. You can go and you can save that out. Let's just say save it to desktop. Or if you already have the image and you know where it is, that's great. So you get that image. Uh, saved you go back to editor and then what you can do is you can just delete that okay so now you have the blank backdrop you can go to edit and in edit there is a tab down here in transform or transformations that is replace image this is replacing the base image which is helpful i i see that it's helpful but it's not you know perfect uh you can go and you can put that in yes it's gigantic it's absolutely huge and you can do replace fill or stretch replaces what you should use most of the time and then you can get this image in you will have to go and crop it down to what you'd want it to be and in this case i also had like adjusted the the angle of the image and everything and you'll have to adjust the naming and everything or the lettering and stuff you know it's definitely not ideal but it's something that works to the place where then you can edit Let's see. You can go and you can edit this base image however you'd like. So you can get your, you know, magic color. You can do the color tab. You can do the film effect on that image. You can do all that stuff, which is nice. It's nice that you have that ability to jump in and do those things. And you can still go back and you can still get that straightened however you'd like it. And you can probably get it back to pretty much what you had before. Um, so this is another, you know, option. It's helpful, but it's the question of how technical are you getting when you're using Photoscape X? If you're using it for basic stuff, Photoscape X covers it really well. It covers your bases really well. But if you're trying to do some really advanced things, uh, there's going to be other software out there like Affinity, like Photoshop and Lightroom that could be so much better for you. It just depends on if you're willing to pay the money and things like that for me personally right now i would say that if someone wants to use this just as for fun just something good uh photoscape x is awesome if you want to get more of photoscape x yeah you buy that photoscape x pro if you're wanting something that's better um 
as far as something that's going to be more of a Photoshop or Lightroom replacement, Affinity Photos is your way to go. Spend your money over there. But if you are wanting to really go full on for Photoshop and Lightroom, really you're going to need to do that, but you got to be okay with that cost and be okay with that cost long term. Because if you spend all your time learning photo uh, to learn Lightroom and Photoshop, but then you end up not having the money to pay that monthly cost for it, then you waste all of that learning process. You won't be able to translate it back to other software as easily. Uh, nonetheless, you guys, I hope this was helpful just to take a quick look at a highlight feature here. Replace image is really nice, really helpful. But once again, I want full editing on all layers. Nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.